Hey, what's up everybody? To cut to the chase, I've been looking for more data on this, but unfortunately I couldn't find any. So I've read that Premiere, Adobe Premiere does benefit from a dual GPU setup, but I have not seen anyone do a test on it. Um, I've read about it, but no real tests. So let's see if this is true or not. Now real quick, I'm uh, running an X570 board on last gen's Ryzen 9. 3900X on 64 gigs of RAM, that's DDR4 3200, running the latest version of Adobe Premiere, which is version 15. And uh, this is a typical render that I do weekly. Basically, it's our church service, so no outrageous effects with minimal or no color grading, so nothing fancy. And I'll use Adobe Media Encoder to export the video. I find that to be faster overall when exporting videos. So export settings, rather basic, almost no change. Um, X264, 1080p, of course, hardware encoding. I, I put it on setting 11 on bitrate here in Adobe Premiere, roughly an eight gig file output. All right, before we get started, I forgot to tell you that the GPU I'm currently using is an old, reliable GTX 1080, not the TI, just the regular 1080. And as you'll notice, as I just fast forward this entire video, this entire process, The CPU hits around 30 to 45% utilization and the GPU, again, this is on a single GPU. The GPU hits about 60 to 75% utilization and the entire video took about 11 minutes to complete. All right, so now let me do the same thing. Let's check the same file, same export settings now with a dual GPU setup. I got my hands on another old and reliable mid-ranger, which is the GTX 1060 from a friend of mine. Shout out to Justin. And here's what I noticed, and it, I think it's really cool. I think maybe Adobe can enhance this feature later on. Um, the processor utilization was about the same, 30 to 45%, but the GPU was quite interesting. So now you notice there's GPU zero and GPU one, and it was as if Adobe Premiere was load balancing this entire export process between two GPUs. And now this is what I noticed. The 1080 and the 1060 was only about 40 to 55% utilized and nothing went above 55. The system was running cooler overall since the GPUs were not generating as much heat, less stress. And you know what? We finished exporting just under nine minutes. So we saved a cool two minutes. Now, maybe for you, that might not be a big thing, but if you're talking about bigger videos, maybe you'll see the improvement over time and you'll it'll save you a whole lot Again, in my reading, my limited knowledge as well, I, I realized that uh, I just read a few warnings. Number one, don't mix uh, NVIDIA and AMD. I haven't tried. I'd love to try that. And they said, don't do SLI or Crossfire because Adobe Premiere will just see it as one card. So it defeats the purpose. What we're trying to accomplish is a dual GPU setup. And today we've seen that Adobe Premiere does support dual GPU. Again, this is Adobe Premiere version 15. I read that version 14 or maybe even earlier supports dual GPUs, but I've never gotten the chance until today to test it. So I hope this helps somebody <laughs> trying to uh, just wondering if it does work. I think it does. And I think it's cool. Maybe I don't know the effects if you're using higher end cards again my cards are pretty old i don't know how this would work on a dual rtx 2070 super or even a, a the, the latest nvidia 3 series gpus that would be the 3000 series would be amazing but anyway just hit me up on the comment section tell me what you think hope this helps somebody well anyway i'll see you 
until next time thanks for watching